Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today I just wanted to carry on with our motherboard preview ahead of the launch of the Ryzen AMD 7000 series of CPUs. We're looking at motherboards. Today we're going to look at Biostar, one board from them, one board from Asus, and a few from MSI. So let's get into it. I've never looked at a Biostar motherboard before. This is the Valkyrie. And if anybody has used a Biostar board before and has an opinion about it, please put it in the comments below, whether good or bad. Some of the features of the Biostar motherboard are DDR5 memory, 22 phase and 105 amp Dr. Moss power design two PCIe 5.0 times 16 slots and one times four PCIe 4 times 16 slot. Six SATA ports, two M.2 Gen 5 ports, and we've got two Gen 4 M.2 ports. We've got one rear USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C and nine rear USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A. Nice. And then we've got the 2.5 gigabit LAN and we've got a Smart BIOS update USB and update button. Unfortunately, there's only one ASUS motherboard that is in preview. That's the ROG Republic of Gamers Crosshair X670E Extreme. It's got 20 plus 2 power stages, DDR5, and 5 M.2 slots. It has USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 on the front panel connector and dual USB 4. Also PCI Express 5 and onboard Wi-Fi 6E and those are just a few of the specs. There is also 10 gigabit Ethernet and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet so it's got two ports. Next we're going to look at the MSI Pro X 670p Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is an entry-level motherboard. Um, this will probably be lower priced than the other ones we look at today. Um, but don't, don't let that discourage you. It's got some um, nice uh, specs here. So we've got uh, three PCIe 4.0 expansion slots. That's, that's three times four times 16. And we've got one PCIe 3 slot. We've got DDR5, four, four DIMM slots. We've got one M.2 Gen 5 slot, three Gen 4 slots, six SATA ports. We've got one USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 20 gigabits per second type C four USB 3.2 Gen 2, 10 gigabits per second, type 2A plus type C. We've got eight USB 3.2 Gen 1, five gigabit per second, eight type A. All right, and four USB 2s, 2.5 gigabit LAN, Bluetooth 5.2, Two Wi-Fi 6E, um, eight channel 7.1 HD audio with audio boost. Moving on to the MSI MPG X670E carbon Wi-Fi. We've got two PCIe 5.0 times 16 slots, one times 4.0 times 16 slot. We've also has four DDR5 DIMM slots, two M.2 of the PCIe 5.0 times four slots, 
two of the M.2 PCIe 4.0 times four slots, six SATA ports. We've got one USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 20 gigabits per second type C, eight of the 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit per second, six of the A type and two of the C. We've got four USB 3.2 Gen 1, 5 gigabits per second, and the Type A. We've got six USB 2s, 2.5 gigabit per second LAN, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2. Next, we have the MSI MEG X670E Ace. It has three of the PCIe 5 by 16 slots. It has four DDR5 DIMM slots. It's got one Gen 5 M.2 slot, three of the Gen 4s, six SATAs, three of the USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 of the 20 gigabit per second type C. It has 10 of the USB 3.2 Gen 2, 10 gigabits per second A of the A type and two of the C. It has four USB 3.2 Gen 1, five gigabits per second. Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2. The power design is a 22 plus two plus one. 90 amp power stage. Okay, with the ACE, it also comes with the M.2 expander. Okay, and what that is, it's an exclusive accessory card which offers two more PCIe 5.0, 5.2 slots with smart fan cooling solution to increase your storage capacity at maximum speed. Now with the MSI MEG X670E godlike motherboard. All we have is a picture. We don't have any specifications on that one. Well, if you'd like to see some more videos on other motherboards for the X670 AM5 socket, well, just subscribe and you get notified when those videos are ready. And also, we have a wide variety of technology videos. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.